area with 51. Everything in the butterflies. Go get your man. And I feel like butterfly gonna recap this. So all y'all wanna know what happened, I'm gonna tell you what happened. He got smoked. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Salute to every single one of y'all out there. You already know who it is, man. So, uh, Debo, Queen of the Ring. Yeah, yeah. Bring it in, bring it in, bring it in. Take a seat because we got to speak. Heir to the Throne 4. Oh, okay, okay, okay. So that's how y'all, that's how y'all coming out, right? So y'all want to drop a card where you got Official versus Young Yaddies. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Miss Hustle versus Coffee Brown. Oh, okay, okay. And 40 bars versus Casey J. And those are just the three announcements. Okay. Debo, when I see you, I need five minutes. I really, I really do. I really do. I got a brick for you. The reason why is because this looks like a female known. This looks like a female summer madness. You go find that man and don't come back until you find that man. The reason why I'm saying this is because you got big names, big talent, big stage. This is dope. Um, I've been hearing other people talking about other battles that could potentially be happening. Debo, the reason why this, this blog comes a day late is you could have told me, you could have told me the card already and I would have had something in the tuck, but you chose to wait. So I had to do it late. But, uh, Miss Hustle versus Coffee Brown. I'm going to just start there. Coffee Brown, upstart MC, you know what I'm saying? West Coast, she has battles. She's making a name for herself. She's kind of like, you know what I'm saying? Uh, uh a West Coast new star, like she, she, she's grinded from the bottom to get where she's at. She's definitely made a name for herself. She does her thing on the gram. If you're not following, you love coffee, follow, you love. I'm, I'm, I'm just gonna leave that there. Um, she's been making a name for herself. She's been coming up and uh, she, she has Miss Hustle. Now, t this is, to me, I feel like this is a little early in her career to get Miss Hustle, but I'm, I'm, I like it. I like it. The reason why I'm gonna say I like it is because Miss Hustle now is trying to reinvent herself and remake her name in battle rap because when they talk about the face of battle rap, when they talk about the face of female battle rap, Miss Hustle's name is not often in those conversations right now. But there was a time, there was a time when Miss Hustle was the one, like like up there above everybody. It was Miss Hustle was there. She was the top dog. Now you know do do the time off. Like, I think she didn't battle for like a couple years at one point. And I think she was supposed to battle my verse on like a Born Legacy 4. They did a trailer and everything. I don't know if y'all remember that. Um, they were supposed to battle and it never happened. So with that being said, she took some time off. She came back. She just battled Verb not too long ago. She retired him actually. And now you have her versus Coffee Brown. See, the thing is, in this battle, and this is, I might as well just give who I think is going to win, too. The reason why I got Miss Hustle, this is the reason why, I'm going to just tell you. Coffee Brown is developing, right? She's developing. She's continuing to hone her character, build who she is, find her footing in battle rap. You know what I'm saying? Miss Hustle has already done that. She's found who she is. She's going to big bro to you. If it wasn't for me, there'd be no you like type shit. She's going to talk down to us. She's going to be little to make her look little. Now, Coffee Brown is lyrical. I'm not taking nothing from her, but experience is the key in this one. The experience factor is there for Miss Hustle, and Miss Hustle is not about to play no games with no damn Coffee Brown. Miss Hustle done been too far and worked too hard to build who she is. If she loses to a Coffee Brown, that would take Miss Hustle about 10, 15 steps back down the road. And if you know, like I know, Miss Hustle ain't trying to go for that. I do have them in a dog fight though. I do have that one specifically being a dog fight. Uh, I, but I do, from the outside looking in, I do have Miss Hustle winning because when I think of Miss Hustle's best performances, whether they be recently or whether they be in the past, when I think of Coffee Brown's best joints, which you know uh, to me was like T Top was one of them, and she had some other ones that were pretty fire. I don't have a performance yet that surpasses what Miss Hustle does, but that doesn't, and that's no not. It's not saying it can't happen, but in this regard, I gotta go with the vet. <laughs> it's just me. Um, official versus Gaddis, Lady Gaddis, Young Gaddis, Gaddis Gaddis. 
flexing on the stage Gaddis versus official. Um, I, we had, like I saw Gaddis battle not too long ago versus our egg. She did a couple battles on um, King of the Dot. No, she did a battle on King of the Dot. She did a battle on Gates of the Garden, a one round joint. Uh, official right now is the wave though. Uh, I know she got smoked by Cortez, but at the same time, Cortez smoked a lot of people in that tournament. Um, well, he smoked a couple people in that tournament, and he definitely smoked her. But now you're playing back on official stage. Official stage is queen of the ring. That's where she balls. That's where she gets busy at. Official beat 40 in her last joint. You know what I'm saying? Like I, if it was Respectfully, I don't know how I forgot that when I, when I did the last blog. But um, I got official win in this one. 2-1. Uh, Gaddis, I feel like Gaddis will have some moments, but Gaddis is going to have to open eyes. If she's going to come back over here again after, how long has it been, Gaddis? Six, seven, five, six years? I don't, it's been a while. Too long of a while for me to pick you over, um, official. When I done seen official ten times in the last two years, it just is what it is. I've seen official have dope joints. I've seen official have, oh man, she could have did better. But we've watched official grow. Gaddis, I just don't know what we're going to get from you at this point in time. When you was around, you was dope. You haven't been around in a long time, so it's kind of like, you know, what are we going to do? Now, there are ways that you could uh, that you could get busy in this joint and make it a classic. You could potentially steal it, but it's going to take some work going into it, though. From the outside looking in, like going into it, we're going to need, we're gonna need more from you. We, we're gonna need more. We're gonna need more C4 by the seashore, okay? In order for you to, for, to change our perspective. One rounders can't change our perspective. Uh, you know, RX is cool, but I mean, she's not on that stage yet. She's not on the big stages, so it's kind of like we need more. But I respect RX and what she do, you know what I'm saying? Like RX, yeah, yeah she's all right. Um, Casey J versus 40 bars. I spoke about this a little bit. Uh, about a week or so ago, um, I like what KCJ is doing currently. Uh, she had the battle versus Gigi Gotti. Ain't too many people beating Gigi Gotti right now, so I'm not even surprised at that. But uh, you know, her in the tournament, her tournament run was definitely one that was uh, unpredicted, and she did make it far in the tournament. But I said that there's more to be desired. Like if 40 bars ain't choking and stumbling, she was choking in the last joint versus official. 40 bars is probably lyrically ahead of KCJ but if KCJ wants to win this one she has to jump back in the bag that she used to beat Swamp and I haven't seen that bag since then you know what I'm saying like she's had some okay performances but that wasn't the first Bonnie that wasn't memorable first prep it wasn't memorable versus twerk that wasn't memorable even though he choked in every round it was jersey and all over the place and talking through your rounds and shit it's still, you, like, it's a difference between a nigga choking in every round and you bodying them. I done seen people choking their rounds and the other person still bodies them. Like, it doesn't matter. Like, you still could get bodied even if the person is not getting through their material. And I just felt like she won those battles, but you didn't body them. Like, you got to, like, get these niggas up out of here. Like, you got to erase them. You erase Swamp when y'all battle. I don't know what, what's, what's changed. Like, you know, I'm going to be honest, man. In order to keep it a bug, I got to be honest. I think it's the super duper gun bars. Like when females are doing gun bars like every other line. The fo fo clicking. You don't know splitting. Get, get your head shot. The, 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 your neck shot. Like that just be like, I just be like lyrical ability does not always have to be about the, I leave your insides out like the club clothes. Bang him in the head with the snub nut. Like, come on, like that. To me, like I said, it's just my opinion. I Who am I? I'm just a nigga with a camera. But that gun, 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 kill, 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 kill. The arm presser. Leave your, leave your head on your mom's dresser. Like that, that just be too much for me sometimes. I just be like, my mind be, you know what? Um, It be like, <clears throat> big gat. Click clack. Spit back. Clicking that. Hitting that. Gripping that. That's just the things I think about when you niggas rap. Good voice. Like, like we need more. Like, it's just 
about elevation. You know, you, there's other MCs who do mad other shit like like, and that's the like forty bars could show the difference between just rapping about a gun every single bar and then breaking down words and syllables and shit like that's what basically. Long story short, I got forty bars winning two one. Um, I seen Jazz talking about she wanted to be on the card, but. Misfit got offered the battle and Misfit turned it down. Then I heard Jack. Like, I'm over that shit. I, I, I totally am. I, I, I don't even have nothing in my mind for them battling anymore. Like, I blogged about this shit before when it was still a sizzling subject. But it's it's dead now. Like, y'all y'all taking, taking dog years to battle. Like, this shit is crazy. What, what's so hard about getting a contract, setting a date, and actually battling? Like, dub, like I'm sorry. That whole situation is a dub. <laughs> Niggas is not waiting. <laughs> niggas is not waiting three years to see no jazz battle. We fuck with you, but niggas ain't waiting three years to see jazz versus misfit. If y'all niggas book it or get it done, y'all can get it done on your own time. On Queen of the Ring or wherever y'all want to get it done. But I remember I heard one time that Jazz wanted this shit on the smack card and Misfit wanted fucking uh 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 indescribable amount of money. It's like come on my nigga. Y'all niggas is dope, but y'all niggas ain't dope enough to hold up no whole event. Um, I don't know what other battles is on the card. Hopefully we get like E-Heart versus RX. I know they've been wolfing back and forth at times and shit. Uh, Debo, good work on the, on the card. You literally just called me the other day to talk about some other shit, but didn't tell me about this. This is the reason why this is coming out late, because when I be at work, I'm not leaving, leaving to come home and shoot no motherfucking blog. Y'all niggas gotta put some respect on it. If you know that, that you want your shit to be out there like that, you could tell a nigga in advance, I've never leaked the card. I've never leaked no battles, but you niggas still treat me like I'm brand new. <laughs> That's just crazy. But anyway, that nigga stay up. It is what it is. Game.